Good evening and thank you for joining us on Y254 News Updates. My name is Patricia Moriuki and tonight we talk about relationships. We're trying to see, we have Valentine's which is coming up on, the, on Friday, so I'm sure people have expectations, but before we really expect what is our partner going to do for us or what is your husband, that is if you're married, what is your wife, what are they going maybe to give to you, we really like to talk about relationships in the 21st century, which is our topic for the night. We try to see how do people, how can couples make sure that they have, they are dealing with conflict in a healthy way. We try to see how do people handle communication in a relationship. Uh, we talk about compromise and also how do you know when it's time to get out probably of a toxic relationship. You can be part of this conversation tonight by sharing your views and comments on our social media platforms. That is on Y254 channel, hashtag Y254 news. You can also reach me at Patricia Morioki. And to help us talk about this topic tonight, we have very good and I, I, I would call them my perfect panelist for this topic and we have Mrs. Hannah Lee who is a relationship coach and an, an entrepreneur. She has been married for 18 years which means if you're watching us tonight you're in the right place because you'll have tips on how do you also make sure that your relationship is going to last long. If you're in a marriage how do you also make sure that your marriage is going to be a long term and a very healthy and enjoyable uh, experience. We also have Carol, Caroline Stanley, who is an entrepreneur, and we're going to be joined uh, in a very short while by MC Sefa, who is an event planner and the CEO of MC Sefa Event Solutions, a corporate and entertainment MC. Thank you very much, guys, for finding the time to come today. Thank I don't you. know if you have expectations for Valentine's, which is on Friday. Carol, any expectations? Of course. Okay. Mrs. Hannah, it has been how many years have you celebrated Valentine's? About 18 years. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Any expectations for your uh, 18th year? Uh, I, I, this, uh, for me, I have uh, a lot of expectations. Wow. <laughs> 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 but uh, I'm a widow mm -hmm. oh, and okay. uh, it didn't stop there mm -hmm. because now I have a relationship with, with God mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not lonely. Mm -hmm. I always communicate with him. Okay. So I, I'm confident in mm -hmm. that. Okay. Yeah. So before we really now get to dive in all those things, I would like to talk to you because uh, you're a, you're a, you're, you are a relationship coach. Right. You have been in a relationship for in a marriage for a very long time. Yes. What really defines a good relationship? Uh, a relationship, when you, are, you get into a relationship, before even a marriage, mm -hmm. the person you're getting relationship with has to become your friend. Mm -hmm. Whereabout you share everything. You talk about everything. There's no secret in mm -hmm. your relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's where you start mm -hmm. to have a relationship. Okay. The person has to be your friend mm -hmm. before before you even think about anything else, mm -hmm. where you can open up your heart and share your 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 life, and he can share your life with you. Mm -hmm. You start from there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Caroline, for you, the millennials, how do you define, or what do you is a definition of a good relationship? Uh, first of all for you to be in a relationship, you first have to understand the sign languages of your love. There's the words. The second one we have um, spoken words. We have the spoken words. We have gifts. Uh -huh. If your lover, am I your partner, love gifts. Yani, there are so many languages of love, uh -huh. so many signs of languages of love. So you have to understand your lover's language of love. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, we've had Carol mention the five languages of love. We're going to be talking about that. The five love languages, sorry. So, uh, yeah, you can, you can look at. <laughs> you can use that camera there. Camera. She's been filming me and I don't know. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> so, we have Valentine's just around the corner uh, and people have expectations sometimes in life we talk about do not have expectations but mm -hmm. we cannot stop ourselves from expecting mm -hmm. i would like to start with you mrs hannah what has some is it all right let us first start is it okay to have expectations yes you uh -huh. you, you, you need to have expectation from that relationship uh -huh. otherwise why are you getting into it uh -huh. you 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 know you you need to have that expectation mm -hmm. of uh, what you're looking for in, mm -hmm. in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And the man 
that uh, you you've met mm -hmm. uh, what are you look what quality are you looking for mm -hmm. in that person okay uh, is it just love or do is there anything else mm -hmm. is it the future mm -hmm. are you looking the relationship into a future mm -hmm. so or there is all that to, mm -hmm. to, to look at okay. in the relationship mm -hmm. Is it is it a, a, a one night stand mm -hmm. or is it a long term? Is it a future thing? Mm -hmm. You need to look at all that. Is it a casual relationship or is it a serious relationship you want to get into? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Caro, for you, uh, in terms of expectations, as you expect from your partner, Okay, are you in a relationship? We may be talking about it and probably you're not in a relationship. You, 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 you can't talk about certain things. Yes, I am. Okay, so do you have expectations for Valentine's, of which is course, on Friday? Of course, of course. So as you expect, what, what, what do you also make sure, what do you do to make sure that as you expect from your partner, that you guys are able to create a balance on that day, that it is not just about me waiting for you to gift me, but I, as, a, as a girlfriend, that I can also gift you as my partner. Uh, first of all, when you are in a relationship, you have to understand your partners, as I've said, the sign language. Mm -hmm. So, like, for me, I expect gifts, because mine is gifts. Mm -hmm. And for him, maybe expects time, mm -hmm. because he's it's time, time. Mm -hmm. I'm a words. Mm -hmm. So, like, yes, I have a lot of expectation. And, of course, you have to understand your lover's emotions. Mm -hmm. We're in that relationship, we have to to balance the mm -hmm. emotions. Mm -hmm. He has to balance mine, I have to balance his emotions. Mm -hmm. So in a relationship, it's a way, it's a two-way traffic. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I can see MC Sefa has arrived. So before he gets to join us on, studio, uh, on set, I would like to ask you, Mrs. Hannah, mm -hmm. what is the importance of getting to understand your, your partner's uh, love language? Uh, you have to be open with one another. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, you, you share the, the talk. Mm -hmm. What do you like about me? Mm -hmm. What do I like about you? Mm -hmm. Could be a smile. Mm -hmm. Could be the way you talk. Mm -hmm. Could be the eyes. I don't know. The nose. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah. Well, uh, could be even the teeth. Mm -hmm. Somebody can, can just uh, like to see you smiling. Mm -hmm. They like your smile. Mm -hmm. And uh, you start off like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, that's how the relationship really starts. Mm -hmm. you, you, you admire a person, maybe the, the personality. Mm -hmm. Are they loud? Mm -hmm. Are they cool mm -hmm. when they talk? Uh, you, what are you looking for mm -hmm. uh, in, that, in that person? Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Are they well behaved when they, or is it pretending until you get to know them, then you see the real colors. Mm -hmm. There is all that to look, to look into. You mm -hmm. have to ask is each other, question mm -hmm. what do you like about me what did you see in me mm -hmm. and you start off like that you know relationship you are like <laughs> two little children who have just met yeah <laughs> so you really have to make sure that yeah. you understand, understand you're able to each relate other. so well exactly okay yeah. so i'd like us to, to to talk about communication in relationships yeah. which is something that maybe people most people struggle with in a relationship yeah. but when we talk about communication in relationships what do we mean by that you see you cannot have a relationship without communication mm -hmm. you have to talk to one another mm -hmm. uh, you could be uh, maybe you've just Hello. <laughs> handsome how are you <laughs> um, you could have just, maybe you've just met, mm -hmm. and you're getting all these go goosebumps. Yeah. Eh? Like, uh, should I call him? Should Sh I not? Should I not? Mm -hmm. Should he make a move? Mm -hmm. Or should I make a move? Mm -hmm. There's all that. Mm -hmm. But somebody has to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then you build up on that. And uh, you, you get to know, slowly, slowly, you get to know each other. What does that person like? Mm -hmm. And do, there, I, I, I see some people, mm -hmm. uh, especially young people eh? yeah when they start a relationship they get so insecure some of them and uh, they get emotional too much mm -hmm. uh, you need to have a balance mm -hmm. uh, don't keep on calling him every minute mm -hmm. or if he doesn't call you start demanding mm -hmm. why didn't you call me mm -hmm. uh, Things like that mm -hmm. will break, we'll break that relationship so okay. quickly. Mm -hmm. You need to be confident mm -hmm. with yourself mm -hmm. before you, 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 
meet the other person. Meet the other person. Mm -hmm. You have to be so sure of your, not that person, you, mm -hmm. confident in yourself mm -hmm. that even that person, when they, they're looking for you, they're like, wow, this is the kind of person I want to be with. Okay. Not nagging every minute, a mm -hmm. phone call, mm -hmm. demanding, mm -hmm. none of that. Every morning you you're waiting nagging, to be... the other person will run away. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Uh, Mrs. Hannah, kindly move to your right. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that we create space for MC Sefa. Thank you very much, Sefa, for, for joining us. You're You've welcome. met us in the middle of the conversation, but we're talking about relationships and yes. briefed you about it. And Feb, Kuna Valentine Samani Men's Conference. Well, where, actually, where, are we, where are we going? Where are, we, <laughs> <laughs> where are you going? Uh, thank you very much for having me. Sorry, I was a bit late. It's okay. Ni Kupanga Men's Conference. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, okay. Uh, okay. So okay. You're, an event, you're an event planner. <laughs> Probably you have the tender to make sure that it happens. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, I believe um, Valentine's is there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's quite an important date to mm -hmm. celebrate uh, love, mm -hmm. the aspect of love, whereby you appreciate not only the person you're in a relationship with, but mm -hmm. also people around you, people who you maybe appreciate or people who are less fortunate. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, Valentine's exists and also men's conference exists. Okay, so you balance. <laughs> so you found, you, you found Mrs. Hannah, uh, you found Mrs. Hannah talking about um, talking about communication. But before I get to bring you the, uh, on that, I would like to ask Carol, we know communication is a very big aspect of uh, a relationship. What do you think maybe are some of the things that young people are not doing that is hindering communications in relationships? What could be our thoughts as young people when it comes to communication in relationships? Uh, some of us, let me say, we don't have for you to be in a relationship, mm -hmm. your lover is your best friend. Mm -hmm. So most of us, you're not open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we lack the openness. Mm -hmm. You have a problem, you don't want to share it with your love. Mm -hmm. But the moment you share it with your partner, mm -hmm. that thing is going to be solved. Okay. So the thing is, most of us, we are not open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the aspect in communication. You have to be open. You have to tell your lover, this is the problem. Mm -hmm. I need this. I need your time, mm -hmm. I need your love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to talk, you have to be open. Okay, so young people, we really need to be to be open. Uh, Sefa, your thoughts on uh, what young people probably are not doing that is making communication a challenge in relationships? Well, first I would say that uh, we are not valuing the aspect of relationship the mm -hmm. way it should be valued because it has a lot of value into it and there's a lot that comes into a relationship than just uh, having someone to maybe text or maybe talk to through tough times or maybe through nice times mm -hmm. there's more to that you mm -hmm. need to create a bond with that person and you need to be able to be to 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 put your thoughts together and mm -hmm. understand what you really want and mm -hmm. what they want so mm -hmm. that's and see whether it can work together mm -hmm. so i believe that's the first aspect that as youth we need to look and, into and also the aspect is of uh, communication as she says mm -hmm. that we need to learn how to communicate everything that we believe is of importance in a relationship we need to learn the, the ways of communicating and the ways of solving issues because there's no relationship that is perfect. Okay. We have to go through challenges. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, so we're going to be taking a very short break, but when we come back, we're going to look at how do people deal with conflicts in a very healthy way in relationships. So please don't go far away. Stay with us on Y254 News. Y254. Imagine. Thank you for staying with us on Y254 News. And tonight we're talking about relationships. We're trying to see, to really understand so far, we've talked about what really defines a good relationship. So we've talked about communication. So if you're joining us right now, you can also be part of this conversation by sharing your views and uh, comments on our social media platforms. That is on Y254 channel, hashtag Y254 News. You can also reach me at Patricia Murioki. So... Carol, as we continue with this, there's one thing that is very important when you're picking a life partner, and that is what are the qualities that one is looking for? So for you, what do you think, are the, what, what do you think is something that people, young people out here, that is younger, young girls and young boys, should prioritize as they look out for someone they want to spend time with? Uh, when you're choosing a life partner, mm -hmm. you have to look at so many, so many aspects. Mm -hmm. You have to look at someone like... Let me use Kiswahili. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Someone whom, if you hug, you know how to solve your problems. Mm -hmm. And someone whom, 
you can as you can associate with mm -hmm. so well. Mm -hmm. So when choosing a life, we all have different views when you when you want a life partner. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of us like tall men, mm -hmm. others love the short men. Mm -hmm. So like we have different views mm -hmm. when we're choosing life partners. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand what you like and what you love because that's a la it's a long term. It's mm -hmm. a long term thing. Mm -hmm. So you have to be so careful. Mm -hmm. Choose the man you want mm -hmm. and choose the man with the character you want. Okay, yeah. uh, Mrs. Hannah. Mm -hmm. I mean, for you to have had a relationship or a marriage that lasted for 18 years, mm -hmm. it must mean that there's really something that you were looking out for mm -hmm. and you found it, uh, you found it in, your, in your late husband. So mm -hmm. would you talk about some of the things that you prioritized and some of the things that stood out for you to choose him? Well, uh, the man that I met mm -hmm. was uh, a little bit older than me. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, he was m very mature. Mm -hmm. He was a widow, mm -hmm. a widower, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, when we met, uh, he used to make me laugh so much. Mm -hmm. Every little thing, mm -hmm. he just cracks jokes. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was, that was something. Mm -hmm. It wasn't material or anything, mm -hmm. but we loved each other. We, we would... Uh, we never used to have uh, t telephones like you do now, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but we 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 would uh, uh, re make make time. Mm -hmm. We meet uh, over the weekend. We go for lunch. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we go to the club mm -hmm. in in the current club mm -hmm. to just watch. He was a golfer. Mm -hmm. I would watch what he was doing playing golf mm -hmm. and uh, just communicate with with him. Mm -hmm. When when we are not together, I would. Uh, you know, call him on that phone mm -hmm. and say, I've missed you, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and stuff like that. Okay. You know, men, it's not just a woman. Even mm -hmm. men like to hear that you're telling them, mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. They like that so much. Mm -hmm. Women are too, sometimes they forget to tell their men, mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. Another secret I had, I used to, uh, maybe I'd go into uh, his coat mm -hmm. and I, p I would make a little card mm -hmm. and I'll put some really nice words mm -hmm. and put it in his pocket. Wow, that's so, so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so when he goes and, uh, and to work, mm -hmm. he would pick something from his pocket and when he touches, it's me mm -hmm. who is talking to him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that puts a smile in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. and the next thing in his face, the next thing I, he I see, flowers are coming home. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you have I, to hope, kinder I hope people are taking down notes. <laughs> you have to kinder your relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, slowly you grow up together. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to say it was all roses. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you, you, you know, you have your, your moments. Mm -hmm. But uh, the most important thing in a relationship, also I must mention, is financial stable. Mm -hmm. When you don't have money, forget it. Mm -hmm. Whether you are in a relationship or not, mm -hmm. you know, you can't do without it. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a balance mm -hmm. because you have to live, mm -hmm. you have to eat, mm -hmm. you have to pay bills, yes. you have to take care of children, mm -hmm. and you have to balance. Mm -hmm. So people should so get their money right. <laughs> that I love you, I love you, I cannot eat love. Okay, okay, okay. We'll be coming back to talk about uh, how to deal with conflicts. But before we get there, I'd like to talk to Seth about compromises that people have to make in relationships. What do you think really is extreme? How far can we stretch when we talk about things that I have to compromise for my partner? Uh, I would say that uh, a relationship, in a relationship, you get to lead mm -hmm. sacrificially in a mm -hmm. way that you get to be the one, you get to sacrifice for the relationship. But mm -hmm. There's that extent that you can really give in terms of uh, do you get back what you give? Mm -hmm. uh, if I sacrifice something, maybe a, an habit that I have, or maybe something I'm used to, mm -hmm. to save the relationship, will I get an equal treatment from the other side? Mm -hmm. I think we need to learn the, the balance between that. We mm -hmm. need to know how far can I go for a relationship and mm -hmm. how, far, how, how far is enough? Mm -hmm. Like how, how far can I go till like this is too much? I'm mm -hmm. giving so much and getting very little. Like I believe for every aspect of sacrifice, mm -hmm. you need to get an equal, uh, equal measure. measure of sacrifice from the others, from your partner. Mm -hmm. I believe that's, that's, uh, that's the, the, the part where you appreciate. Mm -hmm. And also we can hear from 
our very <laughs> wonderful And I, I really love uh, everything yes, yes. that Mrs. Hannah is talking yes. about. I hope people are taking notes. So, <laughs> Carol, let us talk about um, managing conflicts in relationships because uh, we have very short time left. But this is a very... Uh, sensitive issue. It is a very big problem. We have seen very many marriages fall apart where a misunderstanding is, gonna, is going to make the wife kill the husband and the children. So how do we fight? Because conflict is a part of life. Yeah. We cannot avoid conflict in relationships or in marriages. So Carol, what do you think for young people watching you to, tonight, you've said you're in a relationship, how do you, probably when you have some rough times with your partner mm -hmm. what are some of the best ways that you guys approach to make sure that you fight in a healthy way let me not say fight like you have to resolve issues in a in an healthy way okay first of all when there's communication mm -hmm. everything will fall will fall into place mm -hmm. so if you communicate with your partner mm -hmm. everything is going to flow mm -hmm. so when we have issues you can talk to you. We have the counselors. Mm -hmm. We have our moms. Yes. Yeah. I mean, mostly I talk to my mom. Mm -hmm. We have we have so many people can help you. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing is about you talk about it. Mm -hmm. Don't don't hide it. Mm -hmm. If he has wronged you, go tell him. My love, you've wronged me. Mm -hmm. If you have done this, go tell him you've done this, mm -hmm. and I need this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the whole thing is about talking to someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the someone, if you talk to someone, then everything will. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Hannah, having been in a marriage for 18 years, I'm sure it was not a bed of roses. There are times you'd wake up and you're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. how did you manage to go through these tough times? What, what, what are the best approaches? What is the one thing that made you, despite the fact that this is a person with a different personality that you're meeting, uh, no matter how, maybe for sometimes how, no matter how angry you could be with them, you still uh, got to a point where by it's okay, it's about us, and it's time, I think, for us to talk about it. What made that never lose, uh, get away in a relationship? Well, um, you see, when you are hurt, your mood changes. Mm -hmm. you, Sometimes you don't even want to see that person. Mm -hmm. But you have to swallow your pride mm -hmm. and just be very calm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you, you just make the first step. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. The words, I'm sorry. It's very important in a relationship, mm -hmm. no matter what happens. You mm -hmm. have to learn to say, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. and you have to say, please forgive me. Those words, they are very powerful mm -hmm. to, to, to amend mm -hmm. where, the, the, you know, where the rope has broken because mm -hmm. you want to continue. Mm -hmm. So you have to learn to swallow your pride. Mm -hmm. I know men, they don't like to say sorry. Mm -hmm. Women are the ones who are always say, oh, I'm so sorry. Even for things they did not yeah, do. Yeah, I'm Sefa so sorry. Will tell us about but boys, that. <laughs> men, they, are, they, they always have this pride. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Even if he's wrong, mm -hmm. be nice. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, he's going nowhere. Mm -hmm. If you know those secrets mm -hmm. of saying, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. say thank you, mm -hmm. Those words, they are not just there to read mm -hmm. when you are in school. Mm -hmm. Use them practically. Okay. And I'm telling you, mm -hmm. your home will be heaven on earth. Okay, okay. If you want your home to be heaven on earth, use the words you learned in school very well. Yeah. So, Sefa, as this conversation comes to an end, in terms of conflicts, um, what should men do better? We've had, like, most men don't like saying sorry. Mm -hmm. Saying sorry doesn't mean you're weak. <laughs> Saying sorry does not belittle you as a man. So what do you think now, moving forward, young people out there who are watching us tonight, uh, a young man in a relationship, what do they need to do better to make sure that you're having healthy relationships and long-lasting relationships? Well, uh, first of all, sorry that men don't like saying sorry. <laughs> 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 well, I, I believe that uh, it's important that men take initiative, the initiative mm -hmm. of being the heads of a relationship. Mm -hmm. the, it's very controversial that when you present the case of uh, the man is the head of the family or maybe the head of the relationship, it's very controversial. Mm -hmm. Ladies will say, oh, you're, being, you're, you're looking down upon us, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, supposed, it's meant to be in a very guided way mm -hmm. in that you're supposed to take initiative. Mm -hmm. The, the woman is the heart of the relationship and mm -hmm. the man is the head of the relationship. Mm -hmm. And that you should be able to take action. Mm -hmm. You should be the one to state 
the way forward. Mm -hmm. You should be the vision bearer of the relationship okay. in consideration of everything that your partner is saying, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I believe we need to be ready to take initiative mm -hmm. and be, be ready to be the heads of the relationship. Okay. Yes. I really like the comments that I'm getting tonight. I hope <laughs> really people watching us are also, f also feel what I'm feeling because I feel there's a lot of impact. So I'd like to take um, final comments and final thoughts on this topic from each one of you. We're going to start with you, Carol. Your last words to young people watching us tonight as far as relationships are concerned? Uh, yes, to the young people like me, mm -hmm. uh, I, just I just want to tell you, if you want to get in a relationship, first understand what you want in that relationship. If you want it to end in a marriage, or you want it, you are there just for fun. So first of all, understand what you want in a relationship before getting into it. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Sefa, I would like to have Mrs. Hannah give a comment in the last turn. Sefa, what are your final thoughts on tonight's uh, I would discussion? I maybe say to the young fellow young uh, ladies and gentlemen out there that uh, when you're choosing a partner, or maybe it's time to choose a partner, you need to come up with five factors that you really want to have in a partner, mm -hmm. then you need to narrow down to three which are must mm -hmm. and two which will be an extra. Yeah, you can compromise if you at use, least Yeah, one. if you use that aspect, I believe you'll be able to come up with someone, meet someone or maybe get someone who is okay with you and maybe you can work together, but don't be desperate. Okay. It's never, it's never that important okay. sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Mrs. Hannah, from our mother, yes. what would you say to your daughters and sons tonight as we wind up? I would say to them, Take your time to look for who you want to spend your life with. Be a prayerful person, mm -hmm. and God will lead you to tell you this is the right person for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. And for me, my thoughts is that a very uh, great friend of mine told me that while in a relationship, you should always... They made me do this. You have your left arm, and then you have your, le your, your left hand and your right hand. So if your partner, the flaws in your partner, these are the flaws in your partner, and these are the strengths. So the strength in your partner, when you feel that they are weak at this point, take your strength and you cover them. So what I like to say today to young people, because we're out there and we're in relationships and time is going to come and you're going to get into marriages and with families, always know that it is your responsibility to make sure that you cover your partner. That is all we have for you tonight. And as Valentine is coming up, I hope that we're going to celebrate. If you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, send flowers to your mother, send flowers to your dad, to your friends, to your favorite colleague. Yeah, and that is all we have for you tonight. My name is Patricia Morioki. Do have yourselves a very good night.